who will be the Chicago Bears breakout star for 2022? Who will be the Bears breakout oh, star oh that we'll be, we'll be talking about after the season? Like, oh, sweet Kyler Gordon. Oh, my God, Treston Ebner. Oh, well, Justin Fields, you did it, buddy. Or you could go with a Tevin Jenkins, a Cole Komet. Oh, my God, Travis Gibson. Who knew we had this guy in mothballs too much? So we got some options here. Not someone that you're going to feel overly confident in, but take a flyer, baby. Where are you going? All right. I'm going to name a guy that you did not mention right there in the multiple choice. I hope that wasn't the only multiple choice that no, you were giving me. <laughs> you the board is open. Is it- <laughs> you, 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 you could even go off the board, baby. Somebody that might think they might sign. Could be like give me Thomas Graham Jr. or something like that. I could like go like super deep. Cut. This is the year of Kyrus Tonga. He's gonna have this breakout. <laughs> hey, hey, Trev. Actually, Travis Gibson would be a pretty good one. Now that's that's getting real. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with for the sake of knowing that I'm gonna be back on the show and we're gonna be talking about it. I am gonna say I'm gonna go with Bayless Jones Jr. I'm gonna go with Bayless. He'll be the guy. He'll be the guy that we're talking about. He'll be like, wow, he's better than Tariq Cohen was. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be like, oh, this guy. Oh, and he's such a great guy, too. And he's, he's old. Oh, he's old. So that's cool. And he doesn't party. So, yes, I'm going to go Bayless Jones Jr. very confidently. You, James, like, I think if they could pick somebody, they might pick him. They need him. They need Bayless to be Ooh. all that. The Bears. Oh, they, they would pick him what to do as like, that guy that you were said, talking hey, about right now? Hey, Flus, any of these guys can break out for you. Uh, who do who do you want? Take pick someone. And oh, if, like I think they if if they could if Valus could be what they're hoping Valus could be, that could have as big of impact as anything on this team. You he oh, you yeah. want to give Justin Fields some weapons? He could if he really does what you just said, like. Maybe he's impacting you from the backfield. Maybe he's impacting you from the slot. Maybe he's impacting you on special teams. Split him out wide. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of ways that guy could impact the team if he actually hits. I also wonder, like, is this going to be the year that Darnell Mooney really busts out? Because he's had a really nifty NFL career so far. He really has. I mean, overachieving in his first year as a fifth-round pick. And just looking like look play the part. Then last year he has a thousand yards. So and he and Justin Fields are close on and off the field. I just wonder, like, and especially because Mooney is the guy. Like, is is like, is there going to be like, is this the year where we stop questioning whether or not Darnell Mooney could be a number one receiver? So that's an interesting guy to look at too. For sure, for sure. I love Darnell Mooney. You you I know you, you give. Do. You give it your all, Moon. You're, 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 uh, he's a you're, good Mooney. He's a good Mooney. <laughs>